all right guys we're back again with another video and this we're one back again see, with another video <laughs> okay yeah this one as you can see is a how to moisturize your hair i know you guys have crusty hair all right i've been there you know your hair is dry it's not looking good you're wondering how to keep it moisturized through the week this is something that can help you out okay so pretty much we have this product here it's uh, the natural club hair moisturizer so self-explanatory it's a moisturizer it's going to moisturize your hair now let's get into how you can use it pretty much there are three ways you can use this hair moisturizer okay the first one is going to be a refresher is what all of you guys need when you say oh yeah i shampooed my hair this day i moisturize it but the second day the fourth day the fifth day it's dry this is what you need you know first of course you got to spray your hair you know refresh it with some water because as you know the main thing you need to moisturize your hair is water, all right? We just need some agua. If you don't have a spray brush yet, look at the link below. We have a link for you, you know, with the coupon code where you can get a discount. Gotta get you one of those, as you know, just keep your hair moisturized and refreshed. Then you get the hair moisturizer now. You're gonna apply that into your hair. Pretty simple. As you guys can see the way I'm doing it here, it's from front to back and side to side. All right, so now let me just talk a bit about the product, okay? This product has certain ingredients that are very good for your hair and they're all natural, okay? Just like the name, clever, right? Okay, so um, one of the main ingredients that they have is the cognac root extract and carob gum. They ain't chewing this or anything like that. Don't get no ideas. Last time someone put castor oil in their mouth and drank it and tried to blame me, but I'm sorry if, you, if, you, if you, that was, you're the person that did that. I'm not trying to, you know, roast you but you should have did that that was kind of embarrassing but now you know better all right so yeah the, the cognac root extract and carob gum is a natural gel thickening agent allowing for moisturizer to double as a styling cream and curl primer now that is a segue into the next thing that this thing can help you do it's a curl primer but we'll get to that but just to go into a bit of detail when i say a curl refresher okay this is after you've done your routine blah 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 you put your gel whatever right you just add a bit of water and you put this product in, okay? All those who ask me the question, how to moisturize your hair, that's it. You're gonna put water in your hair and you're gonna put this in your hair and your hair is moisturized, complete, finito, refreshed, all right? That's how we're gonna do it. Thanks to Natural Club, they made it pretty simple for you guys. And of course, the good thing is it's one product, but it can be used in three different ways. Like I said before, the curl primer, this is what you're gonna use before you put the curling cream or the curl gel in your hair, okay? So you're gonna moisturize your hair and then you can add the curl dream, whoa, 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 curl cream to define your curls, okay? You can use gel, you can use equal styler, you can use extreme wet line, whatever you want. You could even use Natural Club's curl custard that they have. Listen guys, I'm not upset, but I want you guys to have moisturized hair. I look at you guys' pictures, you follow me on Instagram, your hair is dry, I can't be having that. You guys gotta do better, get some hair moisturizer now. Now when it comes to styling your hair or moisturizing your hair or anything, it's best usually to stick with one brand. So like if you get a leave-in conditioner for the brand or hair moisturizer, you get the curl thing for that brand. And we do recommend Natural Club. And honestly guys, when I use this hair moisturizer, I really felt like my hair was really moisturized and it just, I mean, look at it. It looks healthy, it smells good. But as you guys can see here, we definitely enjoyed using this We did, product. sorry, I had to interrupt. <laughs> Make sure that you guys are actually getting it in sections and getting it all throughout your hair. A lot of you people just like apply it thinking it's going all over, but really you're just getting the top layer and maybe the bottom layer. You're not getting in the middle, you're not getting in between. And don't worry, I'll give you back the mic, but the difference between leave-in and moisturizer, because I get this question all the time, is that there is not much of a difference. They have the same purpose, they do the same thing, they have similar ingredients, but sometimes the consistency and the thickness of the product could be a little different. Regardless, use a generous amount because curly hair, especially type 3 and type 4 hair, need so much more moisture than any other hair types because of how tightly coiled the hair strands are. Wow, this is very curly. All right, so because this hair moisturizer actually has curl defining properties, as we go into the third thing here, it acts as a styling cream, okay? So pretty much, you guys know, you can use your leave-in conditioner, blah, 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 after you get out of the shower, and you can use this to style your hair, or pretty much use it as a gel. All right, as you guys can see in the video here, Queen Reese is going in her hair with the leave-in conditioner. 
the Natural Club one. And after that, she's gonna style it with the Natural Hair Moisturizer. You see, it acts as both. In fact, it has three things you can use it for. So it's pretty damn good. All right, enough talking for me now. On to Reese. Okay, honestly, as you can see by my face, automatically, as soon as I applied the product, it just glided through my hair. And it honestly just made my hair feel so nice and soft and like it was already healthy in just a minute. Look how popping my curls are. I am so shocked. I'm loving it and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. It smells so much better than their other products that they have. This is like one of my favorite. I was about to say flavors, but I'm not tasting it. <laughs> but it's definitely one of my favorite smells by them. But on a real note, I do want to go more into details behind moisturizing your hair because it's very important. So ingredients you should look for when looking for a moisturizer. One is water. Water should always be the first ingredient on your list. It doesn't even matter what the product is. It should always be water because water is like the best moisturizer out there. If you see an oil as the first ingredient, stay away from that because oils do not moisturize. They seal. Of course, some oils do moisturize hair, but it's nowhere near how much water could the second ingredients you should look for is humectants now if you guys don't know what humectants are it is stuff that attract moisture or water from the air and pretty much draw it into your hair so examples of this that you want to look for in the ingredients is glycerin honey water of course those are the main ones that are really popular in the hair care industry but there's a lot of other ones so if you guys want to do your little research do that the third really, really important ingredient is emollients or oculives. Now what these do is to help seal the hair and keep the moisture in the hair. So before I go into explaining what those are, we did do a whole hair porosity video. We did two of them actually, one on deep conditioning and one on what hair porosity is and testing out your hair porosity. Check those videos out because this is very important for when it comes to moisturizing. This is key guys. If you guys don't know what your hair porosity is and you're on this video, please go check out my other video because if your hair is low porosity, you may not need certain types of oils in your hair, but if you are high porosity, you may need other oils. So some really popular examples of emollients and oculives are pretty much shea butter. Everyone's heard of shea butter. <laughs> that holds moisture in. Jojoba oil, olive oil is really good, and avocado oil. So why I wanna pretty much put a bold text on avocado oil is because avocado oil is one of the few that actually penetrate the hair shaft rather than just sitting on top and coating the top layer. So it doesn't just seal in moisture, it actually goes in like it goes into your hair shaft so avocado oil is really good and of course natural club is known for using avocados in all of their products so pretty much right there all the three main ingredients that you're trying to look for in a moisturizer this product has and honestly this is one of the main reasons why i love this product so much like for you guys out there just trying to have like a quick routine like a one product type of thing that can do everything this is it. So if you guys are looking to be growing your hair, moisturizing your hair is something you have to be very consistent with and dedicated to. And I'm telling you, you guys will see results. So if you guys want to make your life simple and easy and just stay consistent with this new thirst quenching avocado hair moisturizer, then get your hands on it. I'll link a discount code below so that you guys can save some money. So if this video was helpful in any way, Please hit subscribe guys so I know I'm doing some good in this world. <laughs> Let me know that you like it. Comment below. Let's chat about it. Give this video a thumbs up. Just make sure you guys subscribe and show us some love.